I tried yours first several times. I tried to get yours done first. Wouldn't let me, so I was like, fuck it, I'm doing mine. You just, you just can't get through. Go online. No, we go online, and it, tells you and it call. says you need to call if you change this booking. So then I call, and it doesn't even patch me through. It's just like, we're experiencing high call volumes. You should go online, and it just hangs up. It's been a nerve-wracking 12 hours since we left Glasgow. Since the European travel ban was announced last night, we decided to skip the last three shows of the tour and fly back early so we don't get stuck over here. Dwight and Patty changed their flight this morning, but Scott and I haven't been able to get through. Pound. Pound, Do you pound? Yeah. What the fuck? Still holding. Is it happening? Hello? I got home 20 times straight. Um, we'd like to change it to a particular f flight on Saturday, March 14th. So, departure at 1545 out of London. The reality of the coronavirus pandemic has finally hit us. What once seemed like a distant, intangible threat has now become a part of our immediate reality. And the possibility of us getting stuck over here, away from family and friends, suddenly becomes very real. What time did that flight depart on, on Saturday? 11.30. Uh, okay. Okay, nice. Same time as ours. Cool. Finally, we're able to get through and change our flight. Tomorrow, when the trucks are unloaded, we'll grab our gear and hop on a train to London. Dangerous, and it's going to spread further. And I, I must level with you, level with the, the British public. Um, more families, uh, many more families, are going to lose loved ones before their time. And now it's a waiting game, crossing our fingers that something doesn't change in the next two days, hoping that the travel ban isn't extended. After being on our phones and laptops all day, we have to get out of the hotel. We won't get to play the show in Manchester tomorrow, so we might as well go out and get some last minute Indian food. Oh yeah, this looks great. We head to a part of the city called Curry Mile, where dozens of Indian restaurants stand side by side for several blocks. Tomorrow, we'll say our goodbyes and hopefully get out of here before things get any worse. <laughs>